Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Simon. In this episode, I'm going through hall sensors. We'll be talking about what they are uh, used for, how to locate them, how to measure and diagnose them. So, hall sensors, they are used to measure rotational parts. It could either be a camshaft, it could be a crankshaft, it could be a wheel sensor, it could be inside the transmission. They could also be used uh, or are used inside ignition distributors. Um, they can even be used to measure current flow. So we have them in many positions on the car, basically. Hall sensors are a digital sensor. They uh, send out a signal which is either on or off. It means you have zero volt or five volt, or it could be two and a half, depending on how the sensor is working but it is always on off. And that also means that if you want to uh, do a proper diagnostic of a sensor, an oscilloscope is actually the best thing because then you can look at the signal, the waveform it's called. Um, but anyway, right now we will start diagnosing or measuring on a whole sensor on this particular car. We'll be st uh, starting on how to identify which wire is what, because I think that's crucial uh, before starting to measure on the signal. We need to know what is supply voltage, what is ground, and what is signal on this particular sensor. So I'll hook it up right now. So what I have done now, I have physically located the whole sensor. It's right here. It's on the camshaft. It's also been sometimes referred to as the CID, Cylinder Identification Data, I think it is. It doesn't really matter. It's a whole sensor which is measuring the, which position the, the piston sign. So, and what I have done with my voltmeter, you need to connect it first of all to chassis ground. And basically, I would connect it directly to the battery, negative term. And I'll tell you why, because then we can use that as a reference later to verify the, the earth connection. And what you have seen is I have actually back probe each wire. And now you can see we have 5 volt. All right. It could be the supply. And on the next one we have 22 millivolts. And we have absolutely zero on the last one. So what we can do now is, I believe that we have the yellow one is a ground. So I can take my ground wire and disconnect it from the negative uh, on the battery. Why did it do that? Two seconds. So, and I'm gonna put that on the yellow one, which I mean is ground. And I have 5.0302 volt. So basically what I can do now, remember that, I'm going to take this one, the chassis ground earth connection, and I'm going to connect it to the negative term terminal on the battery and put it, measure once again on the supply. And you can see I have exactly the same 503 volt and that means my earth connection is just as good as if it were connected directly to the battery which it of course also should be but you could be in a situation where you have a bad earth connection to the sensor and that's the reason it doesn't work if that were the case then perhaps i would measure four volts instead of five volts when measuring across the earth and the supply so now we have confirmed that, then we have the center one where we have uh, 22 millivolts and that will then be the signal. So let's see what the signal looks like. So there you have it guys. Uh, the oscilloscope has now been connected to the signal wire from the hall sensor and this is what the signal looks like. As I said, it's either off or it's on. And this particular sensor has an output of 5 volts. And 
Yeah, as I said, this is basically just what it looks like. I'm using an oscilloscope right now, first of all, so you can see the signal. But also, because it is a camshaft, it goes too fast. Had it been, or it rotates too fast, if it would have been a wheel speed sensor, you could actually uh, connect our voltmeter to it and just rotate the wheel slowly. Then you would also be able to capture the signal. That's it, guys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, feel free to leave a comment. Or if you have any questions, please just uh, write them in the comment or send me a mail. I'll be happy to answer them. Stay safe and take care, everybody. Bye-bye.